Hi, my name is Przemek Hojecki and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about top 10 most popular courses on Coursera right now, so in June 2020, and I will go one by one through each of the courses. So I've already made a list like that a couple of months ago and it tends to be one of my most popular videos on this channel, so I wanted to make this little update about what's going on and what's most popular on Coursera right now in June 2020. And if you compare the list to the, my previous list, then actually uh, just three courses has, uh, have changed uh, and I will discuss those and discuss others that you can find on the list. So let's go uh, through this list one by one. This list that you can see right now on the screen is basically the list of all the most popular courses on Coursera right now, ranked by popularity, uh, ranked by uh, how many students are interested in taking this course or have followed some of the lessons within the course. So first of all, number one right now is Machine Learning by Stanford, from Stanford. So this is a really great course because uh, this is the course that started it all. This is the course run by Andrew and G. So he's a Stan uh, Stanford professor. He's a co-founder of Coursera himself. And he was doing and he's still doing a lot when it comes to online education in data science, in machine learning, deep learning. And we will talk about that in a second because there are a couple of other courses from here, from him on this list as well. So if you don't know it, machine learning uh, from Andrew and G uh, from Stanford University, this is one of the most classic courses in machine learning. You should definitely try it, especially that as I can see right now, uh, it's for free. You don't even have to pay to enroll. And on general, if you actually, all the courses on Coursera are free if you just want to audit them and not get a certificate. So that's really important information for all of you out there who just want to follow the lessons. You can go on Coursera, pick any course, click enroll, and then on the bottom of the screen, you will see uh, that you can audit the course, audit the course, uh, which means that you will enter the course, you won't get a certificate, but you'll be able to watch every online lesson. And this is the great stuff. But on the other hand, if you want to have a certificate, if you want to boost your career, then it's also important to actually pay for the whole certificate. Uh, courses are usually priced between, I think, uh, $29, $39, up to around $89.99 if I remember correctly. Uh, some of the courses are priced per month, especially for longer certificates like IBM Data Science. Uh, yeah, so that's the general remark. Uh, number two is Google IT Automation with Python, uh, done by Google. This is the most popular course when it comes to learning how to write scripts in Python, how to use Git, uh, and automate mundane tasks from the perspective or, of IT professionals. So this comes from Google, so this is really professional to, to do that. Uh, really great way to start your IT career. Uh, if you don't know if you want to go into data science or do something more um, with machine learning, then this is a really great way to start and learn uh, Python. Another standard entry, and this is still one of the most popular courses on Coursera, is IBM Data Science. This is a really great specialization. I've made a separate video about uh, this course, uh, this specialization. I think it's uh, it consists of six lessons, uh, and you can take each of those lessons separately and they basically will teach you how to use Python uh, to clean data, manipulate data. It starts absolutely from scratch. You don't have to know anything to start and it will make a hero out of you when it comes to uh, doing data science in Python. Python for everybody. That's uh, number four course from University of Michigan. Uh, this is about even before learning data science, if you don't feel confident at all about coding, you don't have any coding background, no technical background at all, then try with Python for everybody. This is the most basic course when it comes to coding uh, and it's really great. Uh, so it's worth trying as well. On the other hand, if you're more advanced then deep learning by deep learning AI is a great choice. Uh, so deep learning AI, is an initiative uh, of Andrew and G as well. He created this thing in order to, to bring AI to masses, to general audience, and let all the people that know how AI can be applied in industry, commercially. There's another course from Deep Learning AI on this list. I will talk about that in a second. 
Uh, also, we have data science from Job Hopkins University. So this is data science, which is very similar to this course by uh, IBM, uh, IBM Data Science. The, the crucial difference is that you learn everything in R. So if you're more about R and you might want to uh, do more in R rather than in Python, if you're probably uh, working a lot with statistics and have more like uh, a classical background in finance, then probably you're more accustomed to R than Python. And this is course for you then, uh, if you pr prefer to learn data science in R. Uh, then we're coming to then another course by Deep Learning AI that I've mentioned, this is AI for everyone. And I'm super happy that this course is on the list. Uh, this is one of these new additions that wasn't there in my previous list. And this course is for non-engineers, for non -tech, people for non-technical background. So the, the, the idea is that as to, uh, so that as many people as possible can learn about AI. And this is very, useful practical because they discuss different use cases they uh, try to make you understand how to use ai commercially and they don't go into coding so this is a perfect for all the people out there who are like business people sales people you're working in marketing and you want to learn more about what ai is all about this is course for you and uh, Another new addition, Applied Data Science by University of Michigan. Uh, this is basically similar to IBM Data Science, but it's more on the practical side. I think there's one of the capstone projects where you actually do something, uh, like a project and there's someone checking that. Uh, this is also more about having uh, applications to visualize data and then take insights from that. Uh, and this is another specialization, so it takes five courses to finish the whole thing. Uh, so if you think about this one compared with I IBM uh, data science and see which one is better, again, you can audit both of them and see which one you prefer. Uh, something completely different on this list is number nine here. So this is the science of well-being by Yale. Uh, this, uh, all of the courses so far were basically about Python, R, data science, machine learning. This one is different and this is one non-technical course on this list, which is more about productivity, how to be happy. Uh, there are different discussions around that. Uh, so if you're feeling about uh, boosting your soft skills, check this course. Uh, it's really popular. I haven't taken it yet, so I have no opinion on that. Haven't even uh, checked the videos, but definitely should, uh, should do it uh, in the future. Then finally, you have the course number 10. And this is something very classical, meaningful, uh, especially if you're a business analyst, if you're working in business, then Excel is something you need to know and you need to be proficient in. And the, co the course Excel Skills for Business is the most popular course right now when it comes to Excel uh, on Coursera. And basically this course will allow you to uh, be proficient in Excel, analyze the data using Excel, uh, so it's really great if you use Excel at work on a daily basis because of course Excel is really important then. Uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, I will give you a link to all the courses here, but I will also give you the, uh, so you check the description in the video, but I will also give you the link to the article that I'm uh, showing you right now. This is on my website, Data Science Rush, when I mentioned other uh, data science sources, materials for learning. Uh, so if you're looking for courses, books, um, tutorials, videos that on data science, machine learning, then everything is there. And my goal is to actually have this repository of different useful materials that you can access anytime and just see where you are with your progress and then go between different platforms. Because I think what's missing really is how to manage your data science journey, machine learning career, if you're using various platforms from Coursera to DataCamp to Kaggle competitions, then you're trying to build this nice portfolio of projects. So this is basically the goal of the platform. This is the goal of the course that I'm running as well. Uh, so check that out on this website. You'll be able to see all the details above also on the data science rush, as you can see. So thank you for watching this episode. Let me know if you have any remarks related to the content of this video. If you want to see any other courses mentioned, I'm also happy to 
review some of these courses in particular. Uh, especially I'm looking forward to have a full review of machine learning course by Andrew and G because uh, this is the classic from University of Stanford, but probably I will also go in detail with other courses as well. Thank you for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe to my channel, leave me a like, and see you in the next episode.